but I'm Todd Howard And you know what that means Todd Howard And it's in my jeans Hey there kid No 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 not the person behind you I'm talking to you Yes you Stop making weird confused faces I'm talking to you Do you wanna buy some Skyrim? No? You already have one? But did you know you can have another one? So how's it going Dragonborns? Did you hear that Bethesda is still trying to milk the money out of the remaining Fallout 76 users? It's pretty hilarious if you ask me, but it's depressing that a company so beloved turned into a monster. The monster that it is now. But enough with the depressing talk. Welcome to the Skyrim character build series. I haven't made one of these in a while because it takes a lot of time. But now I got some time to spare. As always, I will touch on the vague, but not so vague this time, backstory of the character, the recommended mods, along with the gameplay style. And all of this will happen in Skyrim Special Edition. But like, buy the other versions too on every console, just to make sure you got everything. And the shit ton of visual mods that I'm using in this video will be in the description down below. So let's start with the story. You are at your Bethesda office thinking, oh, wasn't it great when everyone didn't hate us? Oh, good times. But now we have money, so that's okay. By the way, Bethesda, if one day you're, you'll be willing to work with me, I will be 100% down. Because I love your games, except 76, but one thing I do not do is false advertisement. Because long term, you're f***ing yourself over, mate. Anyway, going back, one day you sit at your office and a random employee who's tired of your shit comes to see you and yells, Talos, be with you. And then throws a random Pokeball at you and you get stuck in it. Don't ask me how that works, it just works. And here it starts. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You're stuck in the world you created. No way to turn back. I think it is safe for the entire community and the industry that you stay locked in here. Don't worry, we'll feed you sweet rolls. Plenty of them. And now instead of trying to sell Skyrim over and over again, you found yourself a better alternative. You'll be selling this light pipe pistols again and again and again. They changed the name for the mod that I'll showcase soon. And while the backstory is thrilling and exciting, you haven't seen the mods for today. Mostly because they're supposedly bad and ruined the game for our special purpose of today. The first one is alternate start, obviously so you can start as a millionaire. You know, because when Todd Howard bought a Tesla, he specifically told everyone that he bought the most expensive version and flexed on everyone in the audience. So you choose the option to have Proud Spire Manor, the most expensive property in the game. Next on our list is a race menu. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a preset for Todd Howard, so I had to create one myself, and I guess you will too. I think I did pretty well, honestly. <laughs> this mod will allow you to build a more in-depth character, and uh, you can make it look like anyone you want. I made it look like Todd Howard. I try to do my best, and I think it looks awesome, actually. What do you think? Also, for the hair, I'm not sure about this, but I'm pretty sure the hairstyle comes from KS Hairdos. But I'm not sure, call me a terrible mod expert, I don't really care. As for our next mod, Gate of Gold. This mod is a mod. It is the mod that we'll use to show off our wealth. We've been greedy. We've launched a broken $100 a year subscription, and we need to show how much money we've made. Fuck. Now let's just pretend we have money then. This mod gives you an amazing power that lets you use money as a weapon. Oh, you want a refund? Hell no! No refunds, all sales are final. Subscribe to Fallout first and please buy Skyrim again, and again, and again. Our next mod is Skyrim 76. I know what you're all thinking, and it's exactly that. You probably noticed that some NPCs are missing a face in the background. Well, it's because of this mod. I will use some footage from Inferno Plus because he made an awesome video about this mod. Link to his channel will be in the description. This mod makes Skyrim as big and as beautiful and as empty and boring as Fallout 76. It makes the NPCs look all the same because Bethesda was lazy to differentiate them. But because they're practically inexistent, that you can't really see that in the game. How is that, Todd? How does it feel to be lonely all the time? Not great, huh? Who's laughing now? <laughs> as for the gameplay style, we will need to stay true to our character. We need the speech skill in order to persuade people into buying Skyrim on every refrigerator out there. 
we need the illusion skill so we can trick people into thinking that they're getting a good game or a good deal on a subscription service. We need the conjuration spell to bring back dead things like Skyrim and try to sell them even more, pretending it's a new game. We need to play with people's nostalgia a bit, you know? We also need the destruction spell for those poor folks that bought Fallout 76. That's me. Do you get video game of the year very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. We need the block skill to hide from all the criticism and simply ignore it completely. And lastly, we need to focus on smithing. Why? Because you need to get a new job now that no one wants to buy Bethesda games ever again. Now if we put all of that together, it would resemble something like this. Yo, it's me again. I'm Todd Howard, the one and only. Please go buy Skyrim once again. I really need it. Yo, I'm Todd Howard and you know who I am I make dope games that make you go damn I ruined some dreams lately but I don't give a shit All you need to know is that my game's got what's called it They got monetization and that's all I need Don't blame it all on me, it's what Zen and Max agreed I got my buddy Pete that ignores you all on Twitter I get how you are feeling but there's no need to get bitter Yo, I want you all to understand We all need money and that's ruining our brand if people understood, the world would be better. I ain't no courier, I ain't got no letter. But if I had a dime for every time I heard my name, I wouldn't need to create another game. But I'm Todd Howard, and you know what that means. Todd Howard, and it's in my jeans. Todd Howard, send them some nylon. Todd Howard, what about this cool add on? Todd Howard, the message now is clear. Todd Howard, it's ruining my career. Todd Howard And about 76 Todd Howard The whole situation makes me shit bricks No, but for real guys, Bethesda really screwed up recently and honestly They've been screwing up since two years ago non-stop. It's hilarious <laughs> But really I do believe that you should go out and educate yourself on the shady tactics that the company uses to make money And to learn more about the video game industry if you call yourself a gamer It's not only Bethesda's fault here. There are many more at fault we're not going to name any more names, but think before you buy, the consumers have more power than you think. Other than that short lecture, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you check out more of my content. There will be a playlist in the description with all of my Skyrim builds that I recommend. Also, I started playing The Outer Worlds since it came out and I made some videos on that and I think they're pretty hilarious, so if you're interested in that, Go ahead and click on my channel link and you'll find about 4 or 5 videos, yeah. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see each other next time. Have a nice day. Oh, and I almost forgot, uh, I want to apologize to the people that uh, that suggested me this build at first. I honestly forgot who it was. I'm really, really sorry. I'm very embarrassed right now. <laughs> uh, three or four people recommended me to make a Todd Howard build, and here we go. I really wish I knew your names, buddies. I'm sorry. You could, like, comment and say, oh, by the way, it was me, and I will shout you out in my next video. I'm sorry about that. But thank you for the amazing suggestion. This was a very fun video. <laughs> Anyway, bye bye So I loaded up this older game called Skyrim I started making videos people be admiring Well on one hand it gets pretty tough I can't help to admit that it's some really cool stuff I get back in the game after I played so many times I thought it would get boring after committing so many crimes Did you know the Rainbow Chicken is considered a person? Now that's a dumb feature that ruins my...